Good morning, guys, on Tuesday. Hey, uh, dealing with the homophones. Remember, homo means same and phone means sound. So I know we reviewed a little bit of homophones yesterday, but this is probably uh, one of the trickiest units in this review unit. Uh, this was unit 20, and this is dealing with words that have the same sound, but different meanings of different spellings, like pear and pear. Same sound. When we talk about a fruit like the pear, that's P-E-A-R. When we talk like a pair of socks, that's P-A-I-R. Flower and flower and night and night are not spelling words, but those are just more examples of homophones. And in fact, oops, sorry, we have a lot more here that, that you can see. If you have the flu and you're sick, it's F-L-U. If you flew on a plane, it's F-L-E-W, so on and so forth. The trick with homophones is you got to really read the sentence to remember or, or understand which one they're talking about. Um, again, that's called listening to the context of the sentence. That helps greatly. Uh, I know you had a little bit of this unit yesterday for your assignment, but I just didn't want to go past this without you remember the difficulty with homophones is listening to the sentence that it's in that'll help you decide which one you talk about with flower flower blue or blue so on and so forth now your assignment is dealing with more unit 21 and 22 again all of its review all of it we're going to go through in fact tomorrow we're going to review more about compound words but uh since it's review i know it's getting a little mixed up with the assignment and things but uh we're going to be reviewing these for the next couple of days and then having the test on friday but it's still all the words that you've seen before. Remember, a compound word is one word made up of two separate words, an airplane, baseball, so on and so forth. So in numbers 13 and 14, you've got to find the compound word that makes sense in this group. Numbers 15 through 18, you need to work on uh, the word, the compound word that completes each sentence. Which one makes sense? Then unit 22 are words that end with ed or ing again ed or ing remember this one was another tough one which we're going to review in more detail more on thursday but to help get you a head start we're looking here um this is where sometimes you drop the e and just add d sometimes you double the second consonant and so on and so forth so it's just getting you used to these words and, and how to do it again 19 and 20 write the word that rhymes with each of the words below which word rhymes with trapped? Which word rhymes with napping? Uh, 21 through 24, write the four words by adding ed or ing correctly. And again, you can use these words to help you out. That's how you do this assignment, guys. Again, reviewing, that's what unit 24 is. Uh, reviewing it for uh, Friday. Lord's blessings, Jesus, praise the Savior.